Cookies After Dark Plot The setting is a dorm room in Residence Hall 1 at the University of South Florida St. Petersburg. This is where Ryan, Michael, and John live together and where the idea of Cookies After Dark was born. This is also where the business operates out of. The boys use the oven in their community kitchen to bake cookies that are then distributed to their customers around campus. Our target audience is the population of young people working towards their dreams, especially college students. The target concepts in this story are management and franchising and smart management decisions. Michael and John learn how to be managers in a franchise, while Ryan struggles with making the best decisions for the company he started. Michael and John go back and forth deciding if they should honor Ryan's wishes and not expand the business, or if they should take the risk to see where this venture could take them. The show will be a reality show series because the audience will be able to establish a stronger connection with the characters. Cookies After Dark is a late night bakery store and delivery service that was started in the dorms of the University of South Florida St. Petersburg. A student named Ryan started the business with the help of his two friends and roommates, Michael and John. Cookies After Dark became an instant success and made the three boys bond over their joint business triumph. Because they were having such great su success, Michael and John had the idea to franchise the business. Ryan was very opposed to the idea because they were all still in college and need to focus on their studies rather than building a business that may or may not succeed outside of school. Michael and John went behind Ryan's back and talked to their parents, who loved the business idea as they were entrepreneurs themselves. What unfolds is a mix of betrayal, success, and the birth of one of the most successful corporations in history. This story represents the development of college students as they, as they try to learn and understand the basic concepts of management. They must assess which strategies work best for them in order to establish a successful business plan. Our TV show involves many managerial concepts, and these are the ones we have focused most on. The managerial process is something Ryan was forced to learn when he decided to start this business. He had to take charge of the business and focus on its success which is something he will struggle with during the series. He also struggles with his relationship with his employees and roommates, John and Michael. Ryan has a different vision for the future of Cookies After Dark than John and Michael do. Managerial ethics come into play when, when Ryan must decide between putting his business or studies first. With each decision comes the impact of his relationship with his employees. He must learn interpersonal and collaboration skills when discussing the future of the business with John and Michael. Their business excels at customer service, which is why the idea of expansion is brought up. The boys must work together to make the best decision for the business. They must use critical thinking when consulting with their parents to make sure that the future of the business is not jeopardized. Characters Ryan is an aspiring business student who comes up with the idea to bake cookies and to deliver them to dorm rooms as a way to earn extra money. Ryan is studious and often quiet, however, when in a small group setting, he works very well. Ryan values analytics and the more technical side of the business. He creates spreadsheets to track each order and create tactical plans. Ryan likes baking because it requires precision. Each me measurement and task is important to, in order to make fluffy cookies. As a result of his type A personality, he developed a contingency plan to create alternative solutions to issues. For example, if he has an exam on a delivery date, Michael will deliver the cookies for him. Michael is one of Ryan's roommates and business partners. He comes up with the idea to expand Cookies After Dark. Michael is a born businessman. He is constantly thinking about the operation side of business. When the company first got started, Michael recruited students to deliver cookies in exchange for free cookies. He likes to analyze competitors by benchmarking. Michael is strong-willed, motivated, and a fast talker. His personality is extroverted and likes to connect with all sorts of people. Michael is focused on the implementation and scaling of the company. He likes to delegate tasks instead of doing them himself, and he eats the raw cookie dough when baking. Mr. and Ms. Washington are Michael's parents. They help the boys with expanding cookies after dark. Unlike John's parents, the Washingtons ask few questions. They give the boys a small loan and they only want free cookies as an interest payment. John is Ryan and Michael's roommate. He takes Michael's side and joins him in expanding Cookies After Dark. 
John is a relaxed student. He is often late or skipping class. John's passions are longboarding and food. He loves the cookie business because he is able to eat and talk to people. He enjoys the delivery side of the business because he likes to figure out the fastest way to longboard across campus. He is a great team player and often serves as the devil's advocate. He wants to expand the business because he enjoys his job more than university. Mr. and Miss Hazelton are John's parents. They help the boys with expanding cookies after dark. John's parents are entrepreneurs that want to help their son with his venture. They are also demanding. They make the boys create a 27 page business plan before giving them the seed money needed to expand. Episodes. Episode one will start with the introduction of the characters. Later on, it will revolve around Ryan as he works on a business plan to present to Michael's parents in hopes of getting their investment. While Ryan is creating a business plan, Michael is working on expanding Cookies After Dark with John and recruiting new students to be able to deliver more cookies to different locations. In episode 2, Michael and John discuss the expansion of Cookies After Dark upon graduation, but decide they do not want to wait that long. They decide to get the opinions of their parents, who are all very successful in the business world. They speak with Michael's parents first and discuss in depth the workings of expanding the business. They then pitch the plan to John's parents, who tell the boys they will support them in any way that they can. In episode 3, as John and Michael begin to prep the business for its endeavor, conflict becomes a presence between the boys. John believes that he has more of a right to have full management of the business over Michael because John's parents are providing the funding for the business. John and Michael struggle throughout the episode to see eye to eye. After having an argument with Michael, John realizes that he is ruining their friendship by not being cooperative. John apologizes and the boys continue their journey to success. Episode 4 the boys begin to expand the business and marketing out to the large population of students at USFSP. As the rate of orders begins to grow, the boys soon become overwhelmed with the amount of work needed to complete. Michael and Ryan decide that they need to adjust their business plan in order for them to be successful and profitable while not cutting into their strenuous schoolwork. Implementation Plan Updated Team Roles Manuela's role is to delegate team tasks, send text message reminders to other members, reach out to anyone who may be having trouble, and complete individual work or anything assigned by group. Corinne's role is to create physical or digital artistic aspects of the project if or when necessary and complete individual work in a timely manner. Alexander's role is to encourage and motivate struggling students and lend a helping hand if or when necessary, and to complete all individual and group work on time. Amanda's role is to focus on making sure the group work gets done correctly in a timely manner and co to complete any other role assigned tasks on time. And also create design challenge videos with team's help. Enrique's role is to complete tasks that are assigned from group mates, suggest ideas, and give a clear input when asked. Also to communicate frequently to make sure that all is up to date and will be the voice of the team for presentations. Past work that we have accomplished include Milestone 1, High Level Finger Puppet Storyboard Draft and Groups Formed with Group Name. We received a 10 out of 10. We completed our work on time and were able to communicate as a team in a timely manner. Milestone 2, Finger Puppet Persona, Character Profiles and Draft Outline of 3 Episodes for the Report. and group design challenges. What worked? Altering team leaders for the week, delegation, and finishing projects on time. The challenges that we had. 
late start to projects some weeks, and no clear schedule. Future tasks and upcoming deadlines include Milestone 3, develop storyboard with episodes identified and summary of each episode and booklet draft. Milestone 4, full booklet draft. Final Finger Puppet Management Presentation and Finger Puppet Management TV Show. Team leaders include Alexandra, Corin, Manuela, Amanda, and Enrique. What we want to achieve as a team by the end of this course. As individuals, we all have a different time schedule and different work preferences, but as a team, we have a great communication and understanding of work that has to be done by each team member. This includes learn subject of management as a team player, minimize work errors, have mutual support and trust, have a high level of performance, and maximize creativity potential of each team member and have a possibility to actualize it in practice.